2009 was a year of rebuilding on Wall Street after last year's financial crisis, but Wall Street's image took another hit as a wave of scandals grabbed the headlines. Fallout from the financial meltdown helped to bring to light a host of shady schemes. Bernard Madoff's $65 billion Ponzi scheme was first revealed at the end of 2008, but the full impact on thousands of investors became all too clear in 2009 as Madoff pled guilty and was sentenced to 150 years in prison. Calorama Partners CEO Harvey Pitt headed the Securities and Exchange Commission from 2001 to 2003. The Madoff situation is particularly troublesome because there the SEC uh, received warnings and tips from those who had um, perceived the um, uh, fraudulent nature of the scheme. Other individuals in the scandal spotlight include Texas financier Alan Stanford, who stands accused of a $7 billion Ponzi scheme focused on fraudulent investments issued by his bank in Antigua. And Sri Lankan-born billionaire Raj Rajaratnam is facing criminal and civil charges in the largest hedge fund insider trading case on record. Both Rajaratnam and Stanford have denied any wrongdoing. And the financial products unit of rescued insurer AIG became the poster child for Wall Street excess when it announced plans to hand out $165 million in retention bonuses after taxpayers loaned the company $180 billion to keep it in business. The scandals put a critical spotlight on the SEC. There are simply too many um, firms that require examination and inspection and the SEC will never have enough people and uh, never be able to pay them enough money. Securities lawyer Jake Zemanski says strong consequences are needed to restore investor faith in the system. I think we need to have confidence building measures. If they find fraud, there needs to be restitution for investors. They need to send people to jail to send a message that this will not be tolerated. But Pitt still believes the actions of a few have clouded the overall perception of Wall Street. I think that um, uh, there has been a great weakening of, um, of confidence on the part of those who um, uh, look at these events and um, worry um, that um, perhaps it's not just a few bad apples, which I believe, frankly, that it is. Regaining global confidence will be key. To that end, Congress is expected to pass new legislation in 2010 aimed at beefing up the SEC and other watchdog agencies. Bobby Rebell, Reuters, New York.